Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a flower. It's gonna be real simple and easy. So if you're a beginner, I want you to stick around. I'm gonna be showing you how to do this stuff. Um, I'm gonna be using this. This is a Faber-Castell PITT artist pen. They come in sets of different sizes. I'm just gonna use uh, just a medium size one because I'm gonna be mostly displaying um, kind of what to do in this. But it's easy to follow along or you can just watch me as I kind of describe it. So um, let's start the lesson. Before that though, subscribe so you don't miss a video. I'm gonna to try to post uh, probably once a week. Um, so let's get started. So in general, when you're learning to draw any type of flower, uh, it's best to start with really simplistic shapes. And uh, I'll give you an example of this. So one shape, for example, would be uh, kind of like a funnel shape. Essentially, you're starting from the center, something like a sunflower, right? Really, really basic, extremely simple shape. And you want to, you know, create an oval shape around that. And then what you start doing is you start dividing that oval shape and you know, you'll never be kind of, uh, like you'll never, you'll never go off balance or, uh, you'll never go too far with one of the petals because that happens all the time. Uh, I see drawings like that. I know it does look more natural, but so I split that up pretty evenly and then I start making it look more organic. And that is really, and I'm doing this with pen, obviously, you know, you can do this with pencil, you know, and erase those lines. Um, but I'm doing that as a guideline. A guideline is extremely important because we are humans and we are, you know, fallible, right? So now I'm just kind of uh, more, making more the edges a little bit more organic, you know, like, uh, like nature, uh, you know, intended. And I'm putting some salt, some spaces between the petals here, pulling some out, but not, but they're still on this same uh, line. They're still on this great uh, trajectory as I'm doing this. Alrighty. In here. And see, like I just took really, really simple shape. Uh, and I, I kind of dug into that and made it more organic. And as, like I said, as you're making it more organic, you want to make it, you know, think of the flowers you see all the time. You know, they have some folds in here, some wrinkles, uh, really, really simplistic stuff. Uh, and I often see people kind of miss that. Let's make the stem a little thicker to make it look like a real stem. And you can add extra stuff on top of it. Everything extra, like I'll, I'll add some random, uh, you know, I don't know what you call it, foliage, uh, you know, off that. Uh, I can go in here and give a texture to the uh, center of the sunflower where the pollen is. And that's it as far as sunflowers go. Uh, and you can keep changing that form and that shape in many different ways. So let me let me go over another different flower. Um, I'll start with a circle here as well. I'm gonna go kind of light. And... Pull my stems out. Forgive me, I forgot the name of this flower I'm about to draw, but if you know, uh, and I know there's Google, so you're gonna know. Uh, let me know in the description. I don't have Google in front of me. I just know how to draw it. So this particular shape, I'm gonna divide it into five pieces. One, two, three. Well, there's four, so uh, I'll just leave it at four, I guess. Only gonna have it four. And I'm gonna do the same exact process I told you before. I'm going to go right here, and this is just a choice of my own. And I'm going to randomly make this more organic, uh, you know, based on flowers I've seen in real life. Of course, you want to reference real flowers if you want as well. But this is the absolute 
absolute easiest way to draw flowers is keeping with that formation. This falls into a lot of different flowers. Um, if they're all, uh, if they're circular, depending on which, which type of flower you're going over. If there is a certain flower or something like that you want me to draw, I will do it in the uh, description. Uh, sorry, I will do it. I will make a tutorial on it. Please uh, comment. Um, and then, like I said, you can add small things like striations in the in the actual leaf. Um, and all those details come above and beyond it. It's just, it's afterward. It's completely afterward. And then you can start drawing the stem itself, any which way you want. I don't know why I bent that stem. I, I, now I regret bending it, but I have pen. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, this is a very, this is, I can't think of an easier way to draw. So let's go over a rose. A rose is very famous. Um, so very similar. It's a little bit different. I'm going to draw like a closed in rose and I'm thinking of like an egg. It, we're still dealing with circles and simple shapes, but I'm going to draw this egg shape. All right. Loose egg shape. Again, I'm doing this in pen. It'd probably be a good idea to do this in pencil first and then, you know, go over it in pen. Um, but a tulip is essentially like a wrapped tissues. I like to think of it. If we're drawing it from the side, draw like a stem here, so you know what I'm going for. We're going around here, and it's gonna go. It's think of, I would say, think of tissue wrapped around an egg, and it's it's wrapped around, right? Think of you gotta think in 3D, so you gotta you gotta think of like I said, say a tissue wrapped, or tissue pieces wrapped around an egg. It's wrapping around something. So those petals are wrapping around each other. So that's why it's, it's, it has this kind of form over here. Maybe another one here. And then they're wrapped kind of tightly and, and bound up there. And this is obviously a closed uh, rose there. Um, they look kind of different, obviously. They obviously look different when they open up, but that's like a kind of a closed and then you can start drawing some petals, uh, you know, for direction. Um, but yeah, it also conforms into, again, this round shape. Almost everything starts round. Um, you know, whether it is, uh, you know, I can actually go over a shaded one later if you'd like. Um, just let me know in the comments if you want another one, maybe on shading. I could maybe go over shading in pen. Uh, there's a lot of things I can do with botanical stuff. So just let me know in the description. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that was educational enough for you. I hope you can draw your own flowers. If you do, um, reach out to me in the comments. Um, you can probably post them on our Facebook page. Uh, I will link that below. Uh, one other thing, please do me a huge favor, share the video. Sharing the video is what, you know, keeps this channel running. It also keeps me motivated to keep making videos. So definitely share the video anywhere and hit that like button. Thank you so much. I will talk to you in the next video.